Great idea to take this training trip before heading to the next town for your battle, Ash. And then we get to have a picnic with lots of great food we got at the market. We've got to finish up the training first. Yeah, I'm planning on going on a winning streak after this next competition. Pikachu is in top form. <laughs> Pika! <sighs> Maybe we need some space of our own. Hey, wait a minute, May. I'll go with you. Ludicolo needs some practice, too. I come with you, but there's important work for us here in the next few minutes. Right, Ash? I like the sound of that. Pikachu! Ready? This better work. I haven't eaten for days. This is going to work, so long as you two do what I say. What's in all of this stuff? What's that? I can't see. The food! The food! Hey, come on, let's get him! What happened? Team Rocket took all the best food. There's hardly anything left. What do you mean, the best? It tastes good. Isn't that all we need to know? Ingredients are what makes it good. I know what's in the things I cook from scratch, but the things you have there someone else made, Max. So we don't know what's in there. Yeah, that's true. I bet Quinn would know how to figure it out. Let's call him on the poker pack. Hi, everyone. What's happening? Hey, Quinn. Team Rocket swiped some of our food. We still have some left, but we're not sure how to figure out what's in it. Is it any good for us? I have to be in top form for my next battle. Good question. When I go to the store, I look for something called a nutrition label on every food that comes in a package. Stuff in bags and boxes? Yep. With fruits and veggies, you usually know what you're getting. But nutrition labels lets you know what's inside everything else. Looks like a code. In a way, it is. If you can make sense of these nutrition labels, you can measure the food you eat. So I can still eat whatever I want? Some of what you want. You need to look at the serving size to see just how much. So if you don't overdo it on servings, you can have more choices of what you eat. You got it, May. Let's check out the basic measurements. The G stands for grams, which don't weigh too much. About as much as a piece of cotton. Well, that doesn't seem like too much. One gram alone isn't too much, but add it up, they can be a lot. So, does this code work for everyone? It's just a guide to get you started. Each person is a little different based on age, weight, activity level, lots of things. So, can you teach us how to read the code? Let's do it together. First, let's break down these terms. Calories are a measurement for how much energy your body could get from eating or drinking the food. Total fat is how much fat is in the whole serving. Try to limit saturated fat, and trans fat should be avoided altogether. Sodium is another word for salt. We all know sugars. A little is sweet, but too much is just too much. Eat carbohydrates in the morning for energy at night and protein helps to build muscles and strength. So fat, sugar, and sodium aren't that great for you. True, but you can have some, within reason. That's why you need the label. At the bottom, it lets you know just how much you can have each day and still stay healthy. Oh, since it says less than, that means that you need to eat less than all those things and your body can do what it needs to. It says... That bag of cookies has 12 grams of fat in there. That's true, but there are four servings in that one bag. Wow! That's almost all of the fat you should eat in a whole day. If you eat over the limit, your body can't handle the overload, and that's when you start to run into problems. Like us not being able to catch up to Team Rocket? That's right. That's no good. I need to be fit to keep up with Pikachu. Pikachu! It's a balance. Not too much of the bad stuff, and you gotta burn off what you put in. I think I get it. So the days we're training, we can have a little more. But if we're stuck inside on a rainy day, we should eat a little less. That's a great way to think about it. Sounds like you all are ready to practice cracking the code. Good idea. Can you help us? Okay, let's take a look at these two items. They're both chips, but the one on the left is a regular bag, while the one on the right is baked. Toss the beach ball at the choice with the least total fat. Awesome! 
You pick the lower fat option. How about this? Both of these drinks look the same on the outside, but as you know, looks can be deceiving. Which one of these has less sugar in the whole can? Toss the beach ball at the right choice. Great choice. You remembered to look at the serving size and the total number. Your aim is amazing. Must be because you're starting to choose all the right foods. Let's take a look at this bag of chips. We see that if you ate the whole bag, which has four servings, you would be eating about 1,000 milligrams of sodium at one time. What can you do to cut down on the sodium? Toss the ball at your four choices. Sharing is always the right answer. That's good thinking. Balance your daily intake. You got it. Exercise gives you options. That's how you balance it out. You're on a roll. Now you know that eating protein is a great way to build your muscles and give you strength. However, high protein and high fat can be dangerous and build your belly instead of your biceps. What foods do you think can help you gain strength? That's going to build some muscles. Yep, high in protein and low in fat. That's going to build some muscles. Yep, high in protein and low in fat. Think you're ready to take it to the next level? Looks like you're ready to break down everything that's inside those boxes and packages. Let's see if you can do it for a whole day. Have a seat. Can you choose a delicious and healthy breakfast and still leave enough room for lunch and dinner? Check out the bars on the bottom of the screen. They'll measure how much fat, sodium, and calories you've chosen. Remember, after you hit 2,000 calories, you're done for the day. Go on, give it a try. Great choice. That's delicious and healthy. That's an awesome choice. So, what's for lunch? If you want, you can go back and adjust your breakfast menu to make more room for lunch. That's an awesome choice. That's an awesome choice. That's an awesome choice. How much room did you save for dinner? Great choice. That's delicious and healthy. That's delicious and healthy. What an amazing day you've put together. Still want to get your food back from Team Rocket? Nah, I think I defeated them all by myself. And just how do you figure that? Well, it turns out my best food actually wasn't. All fat and sodium. Mm, what did we do to ourselves? I can't even muster up enough energy to go after the dwarves. Too tired. Must sleep. <laughs> There's too much fat in that one. Try again. That's the lower number, but check out how many servings per can. Eating faster could make it worse. Try again. Eating faster could make it worse. Try again. 
Eating faster could make it worse. Try again. Not a bad choice. It has zero grams of fat, but you could probably find a choice with more protein. Hmm, there's probably a choice with lower fat. All of that fat could slow you down. Delicious, but you're running out of room. Save some room. Delicious, but you're running out of room. Save some room. What an amazing day you've put together. It doesn't even